All right, here's my high voltage generator board. These two LEDs are just indicators for the drive pulses to this pair of MOSFETs. I'm using a 120 to 12.6 volt transformer that came from Radio Shack, and I'm running it in reverse. As a step up voltage source, I can adjust the frequency of the A stable generator set up by the IC and it's producing 170 volts AC on the output. Here's a closer look at the board layout. Here's the output transformer, the CD4047. We'll be using it in the A-stable mode. That is, it's going to be a square wave oscillator. We have two output MOSFETs, U1 and U2, and the frequency of the output is set by this capacitor C and the value of this pot, R pot. Here we could always have used some sort of a dinky transistor oscillator setup. Um, yes, this would have been simpler, but it has two big drawbacks. It's power hungry. It's not very efficient. And the frequency of the output is to all totally controlled by the value, the inductance, and other values of T1. The only way I can control the output is by changing the input which would necessitate probably having to use zener diodes and some kind of regu voltage regulation in order to produce the uh, voltage I need for, say, a Geiger counter tube or whatever. This is easy, but it's, po again, power hungry. You have little control over it. You don't have that problem with the CD4047. Here is its circuit. Here is the output transformer. It's center tapped. I used a 120 to 12.6 volt center tap. I'm using it backwards. The CD4047 has the additional advantages. It will work from 3 to 15 volts. But be aware that your MOSFETs might need a higher drive voltage than 5 volts. It depends on what you're using. Your frequency output, and it's going to be a symmetrical 50% duty cycle square wave, Q and Q naught are 180 degrees out of phase. The frequency is set strictly by this capacitor C and the potentiometer R. The formulas are up here, 4.40 times R times C, and that gives you your period. Take the inverse of the period and you get the frequency. For example, 2200 picofarads and an R value of 90K gives me on paper 1147 Hertz for the AC output frequency. When I measured it on my frequency counter, it came out to 1160. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. So if you want to generate a high voltage and this is low power and far more efficient than the quickie two transistor feedback type this is what you want to use the CD4047 in its A stable mode thanks for listening